One of my favourite books as a child was Roald Dahl's The Twits. It's absolutely hysterical with Mr Twit and Mrs Twit playing tricks on one another. They're not very nice people. But in the end, they get their comeuppance. They get glue stuck on their head and they're forced to do a headstand until they shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink until they disappear altogether. But what's the longest anyone can stand on their head for? Well, according to record setters, the world record for longest headstand uh, goes to a Christian Kumar. Now, he managed to stand on his head for 2 hours, 16 minutes and 43 seconds. That's a very long time to be on your head. Hmm, I wonder if I can beat that record. Nope, turns out I can't. Standing on your head is very, very difficult. It's also very dangerous, especially if you do it for large periods of time. Our heart pumps blood around our body, and gravity helps take that blood downwards. But we've had to evolve over the years to pump harder to get it back up. So if we're upside down... Things get a little bit more complicated. Gravity is pulling that blood down our bodies to our head. And to get away from our head, it has to fight against gravity, something it's not used to doing in this direction. It has to fight against gravity to get up to our legs. So our legs aren't getting enough blood, and our brain is getting too much blood, and that is quite dangerous. So what about astronauts? There are people living and working on board the International Space Station, which is currently orbiting planet Earth right now as I speak. Now, on board the International Space Station, they're in microgravity. There is no gravity to pull the blood down to their legs. There's no gravity to pull the blood to their head because there is no up and there is no down. So the bloods and the fluids become in sort of a balanced status quo. The fluids pretty much do whatever they want, whatever they like. And because of this, we get a bit of extra fluid in our head than what we normally would do on planet Earth. And this adds a lot of pressure. Also, their face gets a little bit puffier, their legs can get a bit thinner, and worst of all, their heart can get a little bit smaller because it's not working so much. So it can be quite dangerous still. So even though the twits, they were on their heads for quite a long time, they may not have shrunk into nothing, but it definitely wouldn't have been a good outcome for them. For more Roald Dahl-inspired science videos, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Science Made Simple UK.